Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is Flans Planes mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. This mod is totally different from it was before. They rewritten Flans Planes mod. They totally changed everything about it. The planes fly 10 times smoother than it was before. The jeeps are still slow, but there's a lot of new features that Flan has added. And the installation is totally different. So anyways guys, let me go ahead and show you some of the features of Flans mods. We still have the original AA guns, it looks like we have some new boxes, or you may say weapon boxes. The original 7 planes are still there, but there seems to be a new plane. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off talking about these gun boxes. Basically what these gun boxes do is shows you the crafting recipe uh, within the box. And they are all sorted by different categories such as the, the German guns, the British guns, the American guns, the Japanese guns, and we have ourselves the Russian uh, guns and the modern uh, weapons guns. There's a lot of different categories in which you can craft and it does show you the crafting recipe. Let's just go ahead and right click one and if you notice here's the gun. In order to make that gun you just need 8 iron ingots and you need 12 logs. It's really handy and useful. Over here we have ourselves the nerf uh, blaster box. Basically this shows you how to craft yourself a, a blaster so where you can shoot things. Over here we have ourselves the vehicle crafting and let's go ahead and make ourselves a vehicle real quick. Let's put the top right there, the body right here, the color has to go in the paint section and the two wheels and let's put ourselves a V8 engine and there we go so now we have ourselves a planzer and there we go now we can just right click on the floor and it will show up just like that over here we have ourselves the large plane crafting this is where you make the big plane such as the one up there that one's a big one and yeah it's really huge alright and this is just the modern small plane crafting this is basically what all these planes here need uh, to be crafted with I believe the large plane is just for that bomber I'm not sure if any other one of these uh, need that big crafting box to make them. So like I said before, Flans Planes mod totally changed. Instead of using coal as fuel, now you have to make yourself some fuel cans. So I'm going to go ahead and right click inside a plane, and I'm going to press R to open up the inventory, go here to fuel, and place myself some fuel. You'll notice that it's going to start pumping up and it's going to start working. And you can now ride the plane with ease. It's so simple. Let's go ahead and start uh, flying the plane. Let me go ahead and press F5 to show you what I mean. It is way simple to fly the plane. They changed the animation so it's way easier. If you notice right away, you're going to notice that I just barely hold space and it went up really quick. There is a little small bug where you see a black box, but you're not really going to notice that when you're flying. But look at this, you can do so much. And it's really fast and it used to be extremely slow. And not only that, it start cutting the course and start destroying the terrain. And not only that, the coolest part is now you can lose one of the wings. You can start losing wings if you keep on crashing on the floor. It's crazy. And it does make it really tricky to fly. I can't really fly this. I, I'm not even sure how I'm still alive. I think I should be crashing down by now, but wow, I'm living. Let's see if I can land this somehow. This will be amazing if I can land it on the roof. Let's go. Let's, uh, uh, oh, man. Oh. No. And uh, there we go. Good as new. Nothing happened. <laughs> the villagers didn't see anything. So in the vehicle's inventory, you could just fuel it up. You could place your cargo. You could place your bombs, which I'm about to do right now. Let me go ahead and place some napalms and some large bombs here and some small bombs. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back right here with this button. And you can put some guns, but it's going to tell you add guns while you're crafting it. So you can't really place guns at the moment. Um, maybe it's going to be fixed. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fly this and try out one of the bombs. You press V to drop the bombs. Yeah, I still don't understand how this is possible. Another cool feature is while you're in game mode, or you may say creative, and when you're flying a vehicle or a plane, you have infinite fuel. But if you're in survival, you have to fuel up your car. But if I press R and if I go here to fuel, you're going to notice that there's no fuel here. The little red dot's going to start blinking. That means I need fuel. But I could still drive because I'm in uh, creative 
and there's no need for fuel here. And yes, if you guys are still wondering, the Jeep did not change. It's still very slow, and it's been like this since 1.6.6. Another cool feature is that now when you start um, removing an AA gun from its location, instead of punching it like 100,000 times before it comes off, now you can just punch it once and it's gone, like this. You can do this to vehicles, uh, planes, and anything in your way. So you just place down a vehicle, and you just punch it once, and it's gone. Instead of punching it like a hundred times, and when it destroys, you're going to get all its parts, and yeah, it's, it's horrible. Wait a minute, what about the tanks? Did they change? Yes, they did. They changed a lot. The new features about the tank is now that you get yourself a little window. Do you see that little window right there? So when you right click in the tank, that's your view spot right there. You don't see anything else. So yeah, you're limited very bad. And you can fire by punching. And it'll take a little while to reload, but yeah, this is your little, uh, this is your little window. It's pretty fascinating. I'm not sure if uh, you guys will like this. The hardest part is actually driving the tank because you don't know where you're going. I didn't just install Flan's Planes mod. I installed Flan's Modern Weapons, and look at all these weapons. From the AK-47 to a sniper rifle, there's even an RPG. And Flan really outdid himself this time. He made all of these guns have really good, realistic recoil. Like, check this out. You notice how it goes up? That's perfect. Another cool thing is while you're shooting and having fun with these guns, while you're in creative, the ammunition will decrease, but it will not disappear. To zoom in, all you do is right click and you use left click to shoot. The RPG, which is realistic, your accuracy is way off. And don't forget about the Golden Desert Eagle. Remember that every bullet that you shoot from a gun will penetrate through any glass. And not only that, I installed one of his newest mods, Nerf Guns, which are completely useless. Um, yeah. But Flan is going to make these guns useful in multiplayer. He might add some new features to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and try ourselves the biggest plane that's in this mod. The Lancaster Bomber. I couldn't fly off the top of the biome dome because the Lancaster Master needs a little bit of space to fly off. So I just placed it down right here underneath and now I'm going to right click it somewhere and now I'm going to start flying it. This is a huge, huge plane. And the coolest thing is when you press F5, you can see everything. And it's really fast. And because it's a bomber, it could drop multiple bombs. Let me go ahead and fill it up with some bombs. So when I was trying to uh, go inside the Lancaster, I noticed that when I right-clicked, I went to the back seat. I didn't go to the front seat, which I was driving at. So this plane has two seats. Maybe when this updates to multiplayer very soon, Maybe you and your friend could be flying the Lancaster. Alright, so let's try to drop ourselves some bombs on this village. Sweet! That was cool! It dropped the bombs from two different stations, the left and right. Alright, so this mod is really awesome. It looks like somebody crashed over there. Let me go ahead and check out that crime scene. Whoa, this looks pretty interesting. Alright, that was my review of Flan's mods. It really did improve. If you're still interested in this mod and you want to go ahead and see how to install these mods, let's go ahead and see on how to install this mod. It's really kind of difficult, but you, you'll get the hang of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is a bit tricky to install. You guys have to please watch this tutorial very carefully because this is the best way I could uh, pretty much show off this tutorial if you guys watch very carefully. This mod is a bit tricky to install. It took me at least two hours to fully understand this and none of those videos out there on YouTube didn't even help me. So yeah. Anyways guys, the first thing I'm going to want to do of course before installing this mod is to go here to options and force update my game. The reason why I'm going to force update my game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So guys, all I'm asking for you guys to do is to go ahead and force update your game. Everyone to force update their game. Back up your mods, that's all I really want to say because this mod is a huge mod. And let's go ahead and all update our Minecraft games. Download the latest Minecraft 
uh, dot jar anyways guys you're gonna go into my description or you go to the forums and you're gonna get all the downloads you're gonna get mod loader mod loader mp turbo model thingy minecraft forge player api and the flans planes you're gonna get all this and we're gonna go ahead and install all this this is just to get the mod working this won't really get the planes and the weapons all together you know why because the installation totally changed on us it took me a while to finally understand this but yeah you have to download different packs meaning different add-ons let's go ahead and check this out these are all the add-ons that I had uh, when I was reviewing uh, the mod I had the nerf pack the modern weapons the World War two and the yieldy but no matter what you have to have this while installing this mod you have to have this simple uh, parts pack so you have to have this in order to have World War two or any of these you just have to have this no matter what so if you like to have these two just make sure to get these two and just get the simple uh, pack with it and yes if you install this separately all this without the add-ons you won't get the planes so make sure you get the add-ons all this will be linked in my website it's gonna be a lot of ad flight downloads I know guys but this is uh, totally worth it if you like to uh, try out the bomber it's a really cool mod so anyways go ahead and download all this and I'm gonna have the downloads for all the packs so if you want all the packs go ahead and get that and separate them make sure you have all the packs in one folder maybe if you like and have all the other stuff such as mod loader in your desktop where you can see it better just like how I have it and once you have all this let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go here to start search your program file I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see her run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft at the very top you're gonna go into your dot minecraft folder you can see bin resources saved and everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar with winrar or any sim zip opener you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed here's my minecraft game that i just forced updated you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit off your minecraft game now you're going to right click your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder open with winrar or any sim zip over so you're going to open up your minecraft thought jar with winrar all right so open that up and move it aside the first thing you have to do of course before installing any mods is to delete meta inf you have to delete meta inf so right click meta inf and delete files and say yes and now meta inf is gone all right so let's go ahead and install all of this we are not going to install the flans planes into our minecraft thought jar so you could already move that aside just back one just move that aside all we have to do is highlight all these files from mod loader, mod loader MP, turbo model thingy, Minecraft Forge, and player API, all the files into our Minecraft thought jar. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open a mod loader, move it aside. I'm going to highlight all the files from mod loader and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK. And I am done with mod loader. I'm going to go ahead and move that aside. Now I need a mod loader MP. Move that aside. Highlight all the files from mod loader MP. Simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK. And I am done with mod loader MP. It's that simple. All I'm doing is just highlighting all the files and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side. Turbo model thingy, go ahead and open that up, move it aside. You're going to highlight all the files and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK and you're done with turbo model thingy. Go ahead and move that aside. Now you need Minecraft Forge. Double click, move it aside. You're going to see a lot of files. You're going to press Control A to highlight all the files. So highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side. Wait a little bit and replace press OK and you're done with Minecraft Forge. So go ahead and exit that off and move it aside. Now you need player API. Double click, move it aside. It doesn't matter if you highlight these text documents. It won't really matter. Let's just highlight all the files and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK and you are done with player API. So we are done with all these. That's it. It was pretty easy to install. But now we need to go ahead and uh, drag over this flans mod into our mods folder. So if you still have your Minecraft dot jar opened up, go ahead and exit off your Minecraft uh, dot jar because we are done with that. Make sure you're still in the bin folder where we open up our Minecraft dot jar with WinRAR because we're gonna go back one. So go back to your dot Minecraft folder with bin resources save or anything else. All right. If you don't have a mods folder, then you're gonna create a new folder just like me. So right click new folder and call it mods M O D S just like that. So bin mods resources save and everything else. Go into your mods folder. If you have anything in here, go ahead and delete it because it might conflict with this mod. So go ahead and delete anything that's in your mods folder. If it's empty like this, then it's good. Go ahead and get that flans mod and drag it into your mods folder just like that. All right, so leave this open, this this whole thing right here, this folder, just leave it open. But uh, let's go ahead and go back one to our dot Minecraft folder. So just stay right here. Don't exit off this folder and let's run Minecraft once. All right, so I'm going to log in and run minecraft because you're gonna notice that you have a new folder called flan alright so now minecraft has loaded and uh, hold on the folder just like closed on me 
But anyways, here's the game. Go ahead and exit off your game. Just all you have to do is just run it once. So exit off your game, and now on that Flans folder, that's where you add in all the add-ons, all the content packs. You have to uh, place all of them inside this folder. So go into that folder, that Flan folder, and you shouldn't have anything in here. And go ahead and open up the packs or whatever packs that you downloaded. No matter what, you have to have the simple part pack. You have to have that no matter what. So let's go ahead and open up that one first. Double click. Move it aside. You're going to see a folder. All you do is grab that folder and drag it into your flans folder. And there we go. So the simple parts pack is in the flans folder. Now exit off the simple parts pack and you are done with that. And if you want all of these, just go ahead and open them up. Move it aside. You're going to grab the folder and drag it into your flans folder. It's that simple. Just go ahead and exit off. And let's go ahead and get the World War II guns. Move it aside. Grab the folder. And there we go. Alright, this is the last one. Let me go ahead and grab the modern weapons and drag it in. And that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. Am I missing anything? No, that's it. That's five. Alright, that's basically it. You just have to open up these zips, these packs, and drag all the folders into your Flans folder. If you best understand me, it's really simple to understand. Please rewatch this tutorial because this is the best way I could explain it. There's no really other way I could explain this. You could just go on YouTube and search other videos. Trust me, they are kind of tough to understand because I actually looked them up and I had so much trouble. So go into single player, go into any world you like, and if you have too many items, this will work perfectly because you could install too many items last. Alright, so let me go ahead and open this up and look at my inventory, and I do have all the weapons. It worked perfectly. I have the bomber right here. I can put it in my hands and place it down. Hopefully you guys all install this mod correctly. I'm totally supporting you if you have any uh, trouble whatsoever. Just go ahead and post a comment. I will try to get back to you. If you send me a message, I will try to reply to you. It's that I get a lot of messages every day. And I try making these tutorials to help you guys out. So that's basically how to install the mod. This might be the longest tutorial I've ever made. Let me go ahead and double check. Yes, 8 minutes. Wow, that's going to be a lot of editing. I hate editing. Alright, so that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you installed it correctly, uh, you could leave a thumbs up. That will be nice. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SEM Owns. They're both nice people. They like me, they call me pork chop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes, look what I could do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know, maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.